on my own, don't need nobody, yo. Share your mind when I change my life, better stop believing. Although the butterfly and the caterpillar are completely different, they are one and the same. What's up, guys? Welcome to my well, fucking channel. Eerie. Like, comment, subscribe. What's poppin' you two? It's your girl Queen LA back with another lit video. Y'all already know what's going on. So basically, I'm about to react to why I cannot support WWE anymore. So uh this video might be interesting, y'all. So that's why I'm going to react to it. And I, I want to see what this person put in this video. His channel or yeah, his channel will be down below in the description. And this is not my video at all. I do not have like this is not my video, y'all. So go give him a, a follow, subscribe to his channel, because he got great content, by the way. I just want to see what he said in his video. So that being said, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's see why he said he cannot support WWE anymore. And it probably has something to do with Vince McMahon and the way he treat his employees and his uh, wrestlers, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it seemed like the old man from Stanford, Connecticut, ugly. Don't give two fucks about his wrestlers. So that being said, let's get into it. How are they self-employed when you're signed exclusively? Right. You can't work for nobody else. It's a monopoly. Yeah. They tell you when and where you'll work. They tell you who you'll work. They can totally control your life. And you're and an yet, independent contractor. And yet they call you an independent contractor. How has the government allowed them to get away with that? for 35 to 40 years. It's not going to be easy for the WWE to thread the needle on this. They are pushing ahead with this event, despite the serious concerns of some of their own wrestlers and their own fan base. They're, they're putting their lives on the line, not, or their health on the line, their family life on the line, all the time. They made Vince a billionaire. Uh, and then the fact that he's still being so heavy-handed about their ability to make a simple buck on Cameo just struck me as so absurd and ridiculous and wrong i agree with that man you know what i'm saying they work their ass off every day you know what i'm saying proving to you giving like and you get nothing out of that you know what i'm saying that this is why i take in consideration of being a pro wrestler now look at what he's done man and he doesn't give us a fuck as long as he get money Vince mcmahon as long as he get money that's the all he's worried about Wait, y'all, let me go back. So absurd and ridiculous and wrong. Do you have a reason why these people would be dying under the age of 45? Why don't you ask yourself that question? I mean, why, why, why are you indicating that's my responsibility? These people are dead. I'm asking you if it's in any way, shape, or form falls on your shoulders. I, I would accept no responsibility whatsoever for their untimely deaths, none whatsoever. As far as and, and you've got the look on your face, like, yeah, she is not 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 Y'all apologize for that car. Like, people be dumb as fuck outside. I'm sorry. None whatsoever. I mean, they wrestled for you. They were part of your organization. They worked a couple of hundred nights a year for you. Vince McMahon has always had this mentality about treating wrestlers like circus animals. All these wrestlers that have broke their backs making this living for years end up with nothing when it's over. And then they sort of take you out back and they put a slug in the back of your head and dump you out in the that's the life of a professional wrestler they still go with here's your plane ticket you're flying to detroit you're working detroit chicago cape Girardeau, and st louis so you rent your car in detroit you drop it off in st louis you got to find your hotel rooms you got to get a car that's got a good rate to drop off all this stuff and those are your expenses and your responsibility to do that and that's another thing that i think people just like are like are you kidding me you really have to do that's that nuts. Yeah, exactly. So everything Maria said was in a lie. Like Maria spoke out like she said that um like the wrestlers it's their responsibility like they got to get the um they got to like you get no benefits. You got to pay for your hotels, you got to do this and that. You got to pay for everything by yourself, you know what I'm saying? And that's taking money away from you as well. So is it even worth it, my like I don't get it, bro. Like yeah. That's the biggest difference. That's a pretty big difference. Business Hulk here is a billionaire on the broken backs of his non-employees. The very least he can do is 
show the same dedication to wrestlers that they have shown to his company. If I go down as someone who stood up for themselves, this give you chills like down your spine like you have a dream and you love this so much like you know what i'm saying but it's the way man <sighs> shedding light on a lot of shit bro i don't like this is making me mad bro and thank god i find like i know like what like what i'm like you know what i'm saying looking at this now basically this is like selling your soul this man is evil as fuck bro you you selling your soul because you gotta pay for everything by yourself the hotels the rental cars and everything you taking money out your paycheck every bro you get no benefits, nothing. And they put their body on the line. It's basically selling your soul. Because a lot of people want out of the contract. When they sign the contract, you sign that dotted line. And he will work you, work you, work you, work you with no benefits, bro. Something Vince Man would have done. 
Good thing I'm figuring this out right now before you even get to yourself into something. That's why a lot of people leave WWE, man. You get nothing. You don't get nothing out of it. This man is greedy for money. All is about, all about the money. All about the money, bro. A week later, everybody forgot about it. In just a few months, though, we had another issue that popped up. Vince McMahon found out that his talent was making money on other platforms like Twitch and Cameo. You would think that these wrestlers wanted to make some extra side cash to pay for some of these expenses like the health insurance. But no, Vince McMahon's new executives will not allow this to happen. WWE is forcing all of them to shut down their accounts because they claim that they own their names, yet they are contractors. The talent reportedly have the legal right to continue their side hustles since they are contractors, but Vince does not care. If you don't follow the boss's rules, you will either get suspended or fired. And that's just crazy in my opinion. It's not right. Selena Vega is the first victim of this, and I see it happening to Paige very soon because Vince McMahon does not want her to use her Twitch. Unlike the other horrible things WWE has done, I don't think I can just sit around and do nothing. I will continue to criticize WWE's business practices. I can no longer support the company. I think Vince McMahon is a bad boss who has no empathy for his wrestlers. A former Democratic presidential candidate named Andrew Yang has made it his mission to expose and fix this. Yang just wants wrestlers to be treated fairly as employees with full benefits. Andrew cannot Thank you. be the only one who wants to make a difference. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Around, acting like everything is fine. We have the power to do something about it, whether that's creating a hashtag about WWE demonization or simply boycotting the product by not watching. And that isn't a very difficult task. All right, y'all. So basically, that's the end of that video, bro. And um, I watched this video. It made me emotional a little bit, you know, to see these people wanting rights, you know what I'm saying? And then they can't get it, you know? They can't make money off of Twitch. They can't make money off of no other platform, bro. He's greedy. And they said the love of money is the root to all evil. And I guess... That's what he's doing. And unionization needs to be, you know, involved because at the end of the day, man, you you know, I, you know, seeing that Sasha Banks, you know what I'm saying, or like Miro, like Rusev and like Zelina just got laid off because she spoke up, but it's, it's not right, man. And I don't care what nobody say. Like, this is what we're supporting, man. And this has been going on for a long time. It's not right. These people put their body on the line each and every time for this man. And then again for the fans. And they get no type of... No type of benefits. And then you have to pay for everything by yourself. Oh... It shed light, man. It shed light on a lot of stuff. Um, I don't even know if I want to be a wrestler no more, man, because you don't get nothing. I don't know how AEW or any other wrestling company, there's more companies out there. But that being said, like WWE, it needs change. It actually needs change. This is so messed up, man. But it's like this, man. That's like selling your soul. You work, work, work. They, you, all you gotta do is work. You have to work. Um, you, you sign your contract and stuff like that, and they don't give you no type of benefits, and then you end up in a. I can't do it, man. It's sad to say that because I love wrestling, man. Ever since I was a kid, and uh, I came back in it, and uh, it's like mental health. Like it helps my mental health. That being said, y'all like, comment, subscribe. How y'all feel about it, man? I feel messed up about this video, man. But I appreciate this dude for posting this. Uh, I appreciate that. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.